collective stars on the universe, the star community, Andromeda. Hello and welcome to Z. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Everything you need to know about the Andromeda Galaxy. by a massive spiral galaxy. Although there are several dozen smaller galaxies that are closer to our Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy is the nearest massive spiral galaxy to us. The Andromeda Galaxy is the brightest external galaxy visible from Earth's southern hemisphere, excluding the large and small Magellanic clouds. It's the farthest distant thing most of us humans can see with our unaided eyes at 2.5 million light years. The huge spiral triangulum galaxy, at 2.7 million light years away, is significantly more distant. It, like the Andromeda galaxy, belongs to our local group of galaxies. It's also occasionally believed to be visible to the naked eye. However, because it is facing us, it has a low surface brightness. It's far more difficult to view than the Andromeda galaxy. Astronomers sometimes refer to the Andromeda Galaxy as Messier 31 or M31. It was the 31st fuzzy item in a renowned list produced by French astronomer Charles Messier, 1730-1817. When comet hunting, his catalog highlighted things to avoid. These objects are now sought after by amateur astronomers using telescopes and binoculars. They are among the most stunning deep sky objects ever discovered. The majority of Messier objects in our Milky Way galaxy are star clusters or gas clouds. However, the Andromeda galaxy is a distinct galaxy, even larger than the Milky Way. In a dark sky, it's visible as a smudge of distant light larger than a full moon. Andromeda M31 can be seen for at least part of every night of the year from mid-northern latitudes. However, most people first view the galaxy in August or September, when it is high enough in the sky to be visible from nightfall till sunrise. In late August and early September, seek for the galaxy in the late evening, around halfway between your local nightfall and midnight. The Andromeda galaxy appears in the eastern sky at nightfall in late September and early October, swings high above in the middle of the night, and stands rather high in the west at the start of morning dawn. Evenings in winter are also ideal for spotting the Andromeda galaxy. If you're far from city lights and stargazing on a moonless night in late summer, autumn, or winter, you might just glimpse the galaxy in your night sky. However, if you are unable to perceive it, you can star hop to the galaxy in one of two methods. The most straightforward method is to use the constellation Cassiopeia the Queen. You can also use Pegasus Great Square. There are two techniques to locate the Andromeda Galaxy. Cassiopeia is an easy constellation to locate. Look for a pattern of stars shaped like the letters M or W on the dome of the sky. If you know how to spot the Big Dipper and the North Star, Polaris, be mindful that the Big Dipper and Cassiopeia rotate around Polaris like clock hands, always opposing each other. When you've located Cassiopeia, look for the star skier. See how Skeeter points to the Andromeda Galaxy in the illustration above? You can also use the Great Square of Pegasus to go to the Andromeda Galaxy. It's a lengthier trip. However, it is more lovely in many aspects. From the Great Square of Pegasus, you'll be jumping to the Andromeda Galaxy. In the autumn sky, the Great Square of Pegasus resembles a massive baseball diamond. Consider the bottom star of the square's four stars to be home plate, and then draw an imaginary line from the first base star to the third base star to see two star streamers flying away from the great square. 
These stars are part of the Andromeda the Princess constellation. Go two stars north, left, of the third base star on each streamer to find the stars Merrick and Mu Andromedae. Draw a line from Merrick to Mu Andromedae that is twice the distance between the two stars. You've just arrived in the Andromeda galaxy, which appears to the untrained eye as a blur of light. If you can't see the Andromeda galaxy with your naked eye, use binoculars. The evolution of our understanding of the Andromeda galaxy. The Andromeda galaxy was once known as the Great Andromeda Nebula. Astronomers speculated that this patch of light was made up of blazing gases or represented the beginnings of a solar system. It took until the 20th century for scientists to separate the Andromeda Spiral Nebula into individual stars. This discovery sparked debate over whether the Andromeda Spiral Nebula and other spiral nebulae are located within or outside the Milky Way. Edwin Hubble ultimately put the matter to rest in the 1920s when he used Cepheid variable stars in the Andromeda Galaxy to determine that it is, in fact, an island universe beyond the confines of our Milky Way Galaxy. In context, Andromeda and the Milky Way. The two most massive and prominent galaxies in the local group of galaxies are the Andromeda and Milky Way Galaxies. The Andromeda Galaxy is the biggest galaxy in the local group, which also includes the Milky Way and approximately 30 other smaller galaxies. A dozen satellite galaxies are claimed by both the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy. Both are 100,000 light-years big and contain enough mass to support billions of stars. Astronomers have revealed that our local group sits on the edges of the Virgo Cluster, a massive cluster of several thousand galaxies. We also know of an irregular supercluster of galaxies that includes the Virgo Cluster, which includes our local group, which includes our Milky Way Galaxy and the nearby Andromeda Galaxy. This Virgo superclusters include at least 100 galaxy groups and clusters. Its diameter is estimated to be 110 million light years. The Virgo supercluster is one of millions of superclusters predicted to exist in the observable universe. What is the number of stars in the Andromeda Galaxy? The Andromeda Galaxy is expected to contain over 1 trillion stars, the most of any galaxy in the local group. This is most likely owing to Andromeda's interactions and absorption of smaller galaxies over the last billion years. The age of the Andromeda Galaxy, combined with observational data, suggests that the pace of star formation in Andromeda is slowing as the galaxy has depleted its native interstellar hydrogen gas. This indicates that the Andromeda Galaxy's number of new stars will soon be surpassed by stellar corpses and slow-burning red dwarfs, relegating it to the Red Galaxy category. The Andromeda Galaxy Facts the Andromeda Galaxy, which weighs between 1 and 2 trillion solar masses, is considered to be roughly 10 billion years old and the result of the merger of several smaller proto-galaxies. Long assumed to be significantly greater in mass than the Milky Way, recent study has somewhat lowered the Andromeda Galaxy's mass while raising the mass of our own galaxy. The masses of the two galaxies are now expected to be significantly closer together than previously anticipated. What is unarguable is its physical size, which is larger than our own galaxy with a diameter of about 220,000 light years, compared to the Milky Way's 100,000 to 175,000 light year diameter. Andromeda is not only physically larger than the Milky Way, but it is also the largest galaxy in the local group in terms of dimensions, if not mass. The Andromeda Galaxy has a very active galactic core, with a dense cluster of stars around its center. The galactic core appears to have two points of concentration when seen by Hubble, with a brighter concentration slightly off the true galactic center, which is the second point of concentration. This second point is host to a supermassive black hole with an estimated mass of 1.1 to 2.3108 solar masses, or 110 to 230 million suns. 
The brighter point of concentration is theorized to be caused by stars clustering during the perihelion of their elliptical orbits around the core black hole. The Andromeda galaxy is expected to contain approximately 460 globular clusters, showing that it has been an active devourer of smaller galaxies and is thus considered normal for a spiral galaxy. It is also thought that the Andromeda galaxy is undergoing a transformation from a spiral galaxy to a rather uncommon type of galaxy known as a ring galaxy. This is determined from hidden overlapping arms visible in infrared light, revealing a ring structures surrounding the galactic nucleus. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon.